Okay, so I'm back on RetroPi on the Raspberry Pi 4. I've got my Xbox 360 wired controller plugged in. Uh, and today I wanted to try some Spectrum games. I've been playing around uh, and, and looking around on the web at various different Spectrum ROMs and just reading some information because it was uh, one of my first systems that I ever owned and I really loved the Spectrum. And I found uh, a site where it had the games and it had them in uh, release date. And I found that there was a load of games that were released uh, after 2000 uh, and some, uh, I think some on here up to 2011. So much more recent games uh, because the Spectrum came out in I think 82, I think was the Spectrum. But um, so I thought I'd try four old games that I know uh, and also five new ones that I didn't know but I've, uh, I've had a look through and I've played them and, and I think they're really good. So let's start off with uh, an old game uh, which would be uh, Konami's Ping Pong. Now this, this is really playable, really fast, and just a really good game. Uh, and consider it was on Spectrum, uh, it, I think it was, it just felt really fast, uh, and the, the graphics were decent, the gameplay was really well worked out, uh, it was great, with keys or with joysticks. So I'm using my Xbox controller. On this particular uh, one on RetroPie, if I press the select button, I can choose to hit a button, so uh, I get a keyboard up, a virtual keyboard, so I'll press enter on that. Uh, I probably need to press enter again. There you go, so select one or two players, which is just me. So I use the one. I could use the keyboard, but it's in front of the telly and I'm sat behind the camera. Uh, and Kempston joystick seems to work really well, which was what I had back in the day as well. So now I need naught to start the game. Here we go. Now I've got to try and remember, let's go for level two. And I've got to try and remember the keys. So the button, changes which direction your bat is facing. Okay, so you can see that it's changing. So now if I pull down and then press right, down and right, you can see it does a, a high shot. And if I press, oh, <laughs> press the wrong button. Uh, if I press left, it does like a fast shot. Right, it does like a lofted shot. And forward, uh, it does a smash. And you'll hear the noise when you want to do a smash. Oh. Oh, I'm great at this. I'm sure I used to play it on the highest level and do all right uh, back in the day, but it's been a long time. Oh, I'm not getting any points off this guy, am I? I want him to do a lofted shot so I can do a smash, but then I'll probably get too excited and, and get it wrong. Right, so. Oh, he's off. I've got a point. Crowd noise. It's weird how subsequent systems brought out uh, ping pong games uh, or table tennis games as I know, uh, and they weren't as good. Oh, oh, I got him with that. Uh, it's it's all about the gameplay, and this is where the spectrum was really strong because it really did have decent game. Oh, really did have, did have decent gameplay back in the day, even though the graphics weren't weren't all that. It was still a great system, and and the sheer wealth of titles, uh, you can go back through and you can still find loads of things that are worth playing today. Oh, smash! Ah, oh, missed it, or did he get it out? That that noise was when you do a smash. Oh, see how? Oh, he was out. No, I. Well, they were, I was pressing the right button. I reckon. There was a smash. Okay, that's enough of the game because uh, I just wanted to show a smash. But uh, that is great. So let's click back to the menu by holding select, start, and the Xbox key. Uh, and Turbo Spree was a game that I had on the Spectrum and really liked. Uh, it was. I didn't like a lot of driving games on the Spectrum because I, I think with driving games you need to have a certain amount of power on the device to, to make it good. Although I did like Stunt Car Simulator, um, but uh, but some of the games just just weren't as good. Uh, but this one had a little bit of an extra element to it, and I really liked the driving on it. So let's. Oh, I can't remember what I got to do. <laughs> if I'm honest, uh, because it's so many years ago. 
Okay, eight to play. So there was just something about the driving element on this that was a little bit different. The fact that you could change lanes. So you can see I'm accelerating that. What am I doing? About 40 miles an hour. Oh, what was that driving? So I can change lanes. No, I can't. Oh, I can. I have to press and hold it for a bit longer. What was fire then? Have I got a shoot? Drug car scene on East 14. So if I hit map, I guess East 14 is up, is it? Must be. So let's get moving. And then I'll hit map again in a minute. Just go on the wrong side of the road look, for a bit. Through the traffic lights, oh yeah. So let's hit map again and see, that's still East 5. I take it I have to drive all that way, do I? Don't know, let's, let's motor, let's go. Now we're moving. So map again. East 10, oh yeah, so I am doing the right thing. Right, okay, so slow down a bit in amongst the traffic. And I guess, oh there's East 15, so let's, oh, I've just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you're using the map, can I go backwards? Yeah. Do you reckon it will let me get? Can I turn through that? Have I got those skills? No, I think I need to wait for the traffic lights. Right. Why am I going so slow? Oh no. Oh, it's fire, isn't it? I've got to press fire to turn. I remember now. Fire to turn, right, so now I'm on probably East 14. If that's East 15, I reckon that's probably East 14. Or it could be the next major road, couldn't it? So let's go right. Oh, who's this guy? Hit car closing in. Now I don't know if I've got a out. <laughs> <laughs> He's not closing in very well because I'm doing about 30 miles an hour. Let's see if we can make this corner. Now that was nice. Obviously the hit cart. You can hear the, well I don't know if you can hear the indicator. My mic's picking it up. There's a little tick tick of the indicator. So I don't really remember how I find him and how I, how I apprehend him. But you can see that from a driving perspective, it just, there was something about it at the day that it was the thing about, you know, trying to make a corner too fast and, and moving around city and navigating and stuff like that. I really liked it. Oh, I thought I was going to make that then. Luckily, my car is very strong. Oh, what's this? What's the red? What's the red? Uh, I'm sure I used to whiz around quite well, really. Right, oh, here we go, look. The red's got to be bad, hasn't it? I'm pressing my fire button. I'm guessing I'm shooting. I don't know if I'm shooting or not. Let's go backwards. Oh, yeah, I am shooting. I don't really know what I'm doing. But he is red, which you'd think would be the bad guy. But he obviously has a bulletproof car. Let's see what, see if he... Okay, don't know what's going on. Right, so next game. Oh, so Rainbow Islands was one that, oh, I can't remember this on Spectrum really, but 1990... So uh, I guess I probably wasn't using my Spectrum in 1990. Uh, I'm sure I wasn't. But uh, I remember this on, oh, I don't know what it was on, Amiga? It was on another system that was, that was certainly better graphics. But this actually is still pretty playable today. It says 1987 on there. So here's a little bit of Rainbow Islands. Uh, I can't get it to work on my controller for some reason. But, um, but yeah, it was... Uh, 
a good game. I, ca I can't remember this at the time on the Spectrum. I remember this on other platforms. Um, but uh, but actually, it, it plays all right, really. Oh, that was a long way to fall. Okay, last one I wanted to try was Hypersports. Uh, this was great on the Spectrum, uh, even though it had uh, a terrible keyboard for this game. Uh, it, uh, I think I used to use an Atari joystick for this. And uh, yeah, just really competitive, really responsive, just uh, an excellent game, really good in the arcades as well. Okay, so I don't know, oh, what's the keys gonna be? It's gotta be left and right, isn't it? Right, it's definitely left and right, but I'm using the D-pad, which is not gonna be good for this. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, the D-pad's terrible for this. Come on. Hopefully the qualification isn't too, isn't too bad. Are they already heading back? They are. Because the D-pad's a rocker, you've got to wait for it to come back before you can push down the other one. Oh, and I can't breathe. Ah. Okay, definitely need to reconfigure the controls for that. <laughs> What's the qualification? 45! You're joking. <laughs> right, okay, I'm, I'll try that again. I wonder if the analog stick works. Maybe the analog stick will be all right. I'm going with keys. I'm gonna use my Logitech keyboard uh, and define the keys. Because it's only left and right and fire, isn't it? So let's go press the required key left, right, and fire. Right, okay, Q and P. Here we go with the Logitech wireless keyboard. Yeah, now we're talking, come on. I'm in the lead. You'd think I'd have a huge advantage having a, like a, a more sort of normal keyboard. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'm there. Look at that, 34. Although first place at 25 seconds, I was well off that. And this one should be right on the keyboard. Oh, it was, it's always that one that messes, what? I can't get any now. I'm pressing it at the right time. Have I qualified? No, not with 700. I, I, I felt that I was pressing the right time on all of those then. I oh, forgot, I forgot, a thousand. Okay, looks like I'm not gonna qualify, doesn't it? I gotta press it a bit sooner, I think, than I would think I had to. 1700 game over. Okay, so that's the old games. Let's go on to the new games uh, because I was really impressed with some of these and I'll just do them in the order that they come up on the list. So Albatross and this is from, I think it's 2004. So let's go Kempson Joystick. And so this, so if I press it up and down, you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, there's, there's power by pressing up. So you can see it's going up and down. Um, but if I press down, I've got the different type of ball that I can use. So let's go with steel ball and let's go with a bit of power and let's try and bounce it down to the bottom in fact if i go if i put not a lot of power i just need it to trickle down don't i more power than that though oh what okay obviously the steel ball is heavier or something then so what right it seems to be better if it goes up 
Right, that's unsticky now. So let's go with rubber and bounce it round. And then I'm guessing sticky would be good to, to get it to go through and stay on that wall. Oh, that's good. Happy with that. Uh, rubber will be fine for that. Let's go for max power. And you could have this on any platform, couldn't you? This, this, it just is like a nice little physics game. So if I, let's do lower power, but do it up and see, see how far. Yeah, that was all right. And then, I don't know what the advantage is to using, oh, okay, steel might have been better because it wouldn't have bounced so much. Or, well, that's not really sticky. Oh, I've only got rubber ball now. It won't let me change it. <laughs> I, I haven't done as bad as this on any of the games I've played of this game. Right, so let's play it. So level two is going to be great. Let's go for pretty much max power. I'm going to go with rubber ball. Oh, no, that's too much. Yeah, that's a good start. Let's go with steel. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Now, I guess sticky doesn't... Am I going to be able to bounce up there? Let's go rubber. No, not high enough. I want this game on my phone. If anybody knows of this game like this on my on the phone, I would play it. Right, so another game. So let's go for Alter Ego. So I couldn't get Alter Ego to work, so let's go for Genesis. I have I had played it, but I, I have unzipped all the files and I don't know if it prefers it as a zip file or something. I don't know. For some reason Alter Ego didn't work. So this is Genesis from 2010. Um, and it just it just really looks like a Spectrum game, you know the the, the sort of single color graphics uh, and the way it works is uh, is great. It's uh, it would have done very well if it was released back in the day. And it's just really nice that people are still devoting time and energy into into this platform. As I say, this was 2011, I think it says. Oh, I got some pick up there. Oh, and I could have gone up the top look as well. So there's, there's alternate routes that I could have gone through. So that's Genesis, uh, Horus in the Mystic Woods. Now, obviously there were Horus games out at the time, so I guess this is just sort of a, uh, you know, a spin on that. And this comes from also 2010. 64 ter terrible areas await you. Can you help him? Now, I do I need the keyboard for this? So, one. Oh, oh, there you go, Kempson. Where's start? Nought to play, uh, nine to play from the start. Oh, so I am on, on uh, controller. There we go. A little bit, uh, a little bit Manic Miner style. With nice graphics, nice spectrumy sounds. You have 250 points, you fast mover. Oh crikey, that's not so easy, is it? Now I take it I can take, I can fall Unless I have to make that jump, but then I'll be jumping out the screen, won't I? Oh yeah, so we can take a fall. And I don't, so it's the presence I need, is it? Yeah, it must be. Oh, I suppose I could have got that one right at the end, couldn't I? The red looks like it's gonna, gonna hurt me. <laughs> nice noise. 
Right, let's try that again. Halt. Am I supposed to get the other two bits? I'm sure I'll be alright without that. Oh, oh, you bounce off the walls. I wasn't anticipating that. Well, you can see what that game's like. That's pretty decent. And it, as I say, it's very, it's got a certainly a Manic Miner Jet Set Willy style to it. But uh, what was it, 64 levels of that, which is uh, would take some time, wouldn't it? Oh, I tried to land on the middle bit. So let's try something else. Carlos. That doesn't look like it's worked. So I've got two that don't work. So what I think I'm going to try and do is go into RetroArch. I haven't tried RetroArch on this yet. So if I go into Options, there's just so much on here. Right, Options. Uh, I think there's a RetroArch here. Yeah, RetroArch. Let. Let's try that and see if we can get uh, the two games that I couldn't get to work, which was... Uh, Altered Ego, oh, so, oh, it is working, oh, it's a bit, it's, a bit um, it's really unresponsive, well, let's give it a go and see if it, see if it, when it launches the system, it doesn't, because it's, it's, it's really laggy, run, start the content, let's see, hopefully it will, oh, it's running in 4K, look, no, that's not working. So I've booted up Lacquer or RetroArch uh, and let's have a look on there and see uh, if the games are playable on that. Spectrum is not there. So let's scan a directory. ROMs. Nice to have so many options. <laughs> All the way to the... I probably could have just pressed up. ZX Spectrum. Scan this directory. So what was it? It was Alter Ego that didn't work. Run. Well, it doesn't look like it's crashed, does it? And I've definitely played this on something else. Okay, so I can't get Alter Ego to work on this either. So let's try, uh, what was the other one I couldn't get to work? Carlos. So Carlos is from, I think, 2010. No, I've done the same. Okay, so I'm booting Raspbian, which I run from an SSD. Um, this is my super overclocked one at 2147 megahertz. Um, and I tried it on RetroArch, couldn't get that to work. Uh, for those same two ROMs, and I really wanted to show them. So let's try the web browser, because there is a Spectrum uh, emulator on the web browser. Now, I don't know if it will... So I'm on torinac.com, uh, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this, this is where I found a lot of these. Ah, this is good that I found this, so it's good that it didn't work in a way, uh, because this has them in the, uh, the order that they're in, and so you can see some of the new games that are on there. Uh, and so Alter Ego, if I click on that, this will actually play in or from the web browser. So it says F9 for menu. Let's just hit return. Yeah, so this is working. So this is Alter Ego, and uh, this this really is decent, really, really clever gameplay. So uh, obviously here, the only thing I can do is drop down. I'm the guy on the right. If I press spacebar, I switch places with my Alter Ego, hence the name of the game. And then if I switch again, you can see that I can pick up those pills there. And now I don't think I can switch anymore. So what I would need to do is probably follow this guy down the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you if you finish as soon as you get both things. Yeah, so if I drop down behind him, you can see, and there's the two pills or whatever I'm picking up. Uh, and so same thing again, obviously I need to go, or I suppose I can go down first of all to get these two, and then up again, because now I can switch and get those two, and then, I don't know how many times have I got to switch, and also if I see where 
this guy goes, I suppose if I follow him, I can then follow him and then, because I, yeah, I'm a bit faster than him anyway. Oh no, I can't get through. If I do that, that's not going to help. Oh no, <laughs> I'll mess this up. <laughs> okay, so it shows you that as a game, I think that really has a, a nice level of uh, difficulty to it. And uh, again, it's the sort of game I would like to play on mobile as well. It would really suit uh, a mobile device. But yeah, really enjoyable, really like that. Um, I was glad I got that to play. So this is through the web browser. You can see the, the URL at the top, toronac.com. So if I press the back button in my browser now, it will take me back to the games. And I'll try that other game that I didn't get to play, which was Carlos, which is also a decent game. So this comes up as 2010. Funny how you can get it to work through a web browser, but not ROMs on a system. All right, so I don't have a password, so I will just pop something in. And yeah, this is QA, up, down, QA, OP. Oh yeah, so there was some sort of, I think I think you can't touch the the blocks. So you have to think about, can I pick that up, can I? Yeah, so if I do that one, then I can drop down. I can do that one and drop down and I guess do that and drop down. So again, there's a bit of thought that goes, am I there? Up, down, well done, Carlos. Uh, so I, do I, yeah, I drop down if I do that. So how would you do that? Do you push that through? Push that one, then I can get this. Oh, and then I've, right, so, but if I, if I destroy that one, no, I can't destroy that one, push that through, will that mean I get crushed? I can't push that through. Am I pushing that and then, oh yeah, I can push that, drop. There you go. So another bit of a puzzle game. I won't go through them because I'm sure you want to try the puzzles yourself and work them out. Uh, because this one's going to be too tricky for me. Anyway, uh, I hope you like that. That was my uh, sort of revisit of Spectrum, but some of the old ones and some of the new ones. Uh, and uh, as I say, if, if RetroPie or RetroArch doesn't work, then you can always play Spectrum games in a web browser, uh, wherever you are. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.